You are interviewing the head of InfoSec at Meme Games Inc. as part of your discovery uh, process prior to architecting the Meme solution. They tell you that while all the requirements are important, security is their prime concern. They reveal that other companies have recently suffered virus attacks and now Veeam Games Inc. may want to implement a solution that can verify their restores are virus free. Uh, which discovery questions will determine the suitability of this feature? Okay, so we're looking to basically be able to do virus free restores. This is also the feature called Secure Restore. So what do we need to know about that? Well, uh, let's see, three options. So option one here, yeah, we have to pick three. Uh, option one, uh, what is the mix of operating systems in use? That's a great question because this feature is only officially supported for Windows. So if everything is non-Windows, then that's not really gonna work. Of course, we could go and take a look and see. Did they tell us what it is? Uh, we see there are some Linux Oracle clusters, application clusters, general use, management, always on SQL. It, it doesn't really seem to tell us anything exactly about what are uh, what is running on these machines. So I think that that's a very relevant question that we would want to uh, ask. Uh, what is the operating system standard intended for use on Veeam proxies? It, it doesn't matter, right? It's not relevant. Uh, if they have an opinion, great, we, we, can, we can talk about that, but it has nothing to do with the task at hand because we are only talking about features to determine the suitability of this virus free restore feature and the proxies are not involved in that. So uh, option two is definitely a distractor. Will resource only be performed to Amazon EC2 instances in the event of a malware attack? Well, I'm not so sure that that's a uh, relevant question here, but um, that, that, that would, uh, I think, be a, a problem here. But uh, let's go down and see. What is the antivirus software used? That's definitely important because <clears throat> if, if uh, we want to do antivirus scans as a part of the restore, aka secure restore, it needs to be some antivirus software that we can work with. If you go and take a look at the user guide, I think we have like four vendors or so that work out of the box. It could be Kaspersky, ACID, Windows Defender, Symantec. I think those are the four, it doesn't really matter. But there is also a um, antivirus uh, XML file. And this one can be adjusted to work with other vendors. But again, we need like the error codes from those vendors. So knowing which one they have uh, is good to know because it tells us maybe it just works out of the box. Uh, what are the disk or volume types in use by protected systems? Super relevant. Again, uh, if these are file systems that we can't uh, mount, we can't read somehow, uh, it would be a potential problem. It also uh, tells us something about the mount servers. Uh, they need to be able to mount up these files. So, uh, I'm going to go with answers uh, one, four, and five. So we, we want to know about which operating systems are in use uh, for what we're protecting, what antivirus software they're using, and the disk or volume types. What are we using here?